Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play A Sky Full of Stars by Coldplay on the guitar, even though it's you know originally piano and stuff. We're also going to take a look at the um, the guitar parts as well too. Even though they're on electric, I'll just show them to you on acoustic. They're played the same way. Pretty simple stuff, but let's take a look at this uh, main chord progression here. Now, for most of these chords, you'll uh, I have a capo here at the sixth fret, or actually for all of these chords. Just, you know, we have to recreate a piano part, so a lot of the keys that you can play in the piano is a little bit more difficult on a guitar. So, sixth fret, and then we have a lot of basic chord shapes after that. Um, if you need to learn basic chords, go to my website. I got free trials going on. Just click the link in the description or right here, and you'll have um, you know, pretty much all you'll ever need to learn. All right, so let's start here. We have the capo with the sixth fret. We're going to start with an. A minor 7 chord, but it's pretty much just an A minor chord. Now I'm just com comparing this as if the capo is like the open string. So when I say first fret, it's right here. So we have just an A minor chord, and then pick up your third finger. Now try to pick just to the B string. So pick the just the four middle strings. Then we have a little transition chord. Now what we're going to do here is third fret here on the low E string, fourth fret on the D. By the way, we're in standard tuning here. And then third fret on the low E, third fret on the D, and third fret on the B string. Now what you want to do is mute the two strings, the fifth and the third string. I use the bottom of my middle finger to mute the fifth string. And then the bottom of my third finger that's holding that D string is going to mute the G string. And just once again, pick across to the B string. Try not to hit the high E yet. So we have this. See so yeah. that? That melody's going up. And now you're going to grab this chord. And then you can strum all the way across. So you get that high E melody note there. So we have the first fret here on the low E string. The second fret on the D string. Open G. First fret on the B and the open high E. Now I'm muting once again that A. It doesn't sound bad if it's in there, but you can mute it with the bottom of your index finger if you want. So we have this so far. Then just play a C major chord. Now this last chord is easy to play, but it has a little change at the very end of it. Just put, you're going to strum all the from the 6th string all the way across to the B string, and just place your 2nd finger there at the 2nd fret on the A string. And then you're going to, at the very end of the chord, you're going to strum once with the 2nd fret added on the D string, and then move up to the 3rd fret on that D by using your little finger, and then the 1st fret added up to, on the second string. Sounds kind of strange, but if you really hear it in the context of the song, it works. All right, so you just repeat that over and over again. Um, and, you know, after the you know, I think the first chorus, when it comes back around, it's pretty much you hear a guitar strum, and you're just kind of strumming a quick uh, down-up feel. Alright, so that's the chorus for the entire song. It just keeps repeating that. And over that we have some guitar work going on. Now this is on an electric guitar and he's got a little delay effect kind of like the edge of U2 going on at all times. But I'll play the melodies there and if you have a second guitarist playing with you they can probably do the, the melodies and then you can just continue with the, the chords or vice versa. Alright so the first melody is this. All right, 
right, so that's just the seventh, or oh, okay, I'll say first fret here. Or we can actually remove the capo if we want to. So let's just take the capo off so nothing's confusing anymore. And I'll just call them their actual fret names. So we're at the seventh fret now. You don't need a capo for these lead guitar parts. Seven to nine. And then up to 12. To 11. Back to nine. So just repeat that. Now you also hear another overdub, it sounds like this. All right, so you hear that a couple of times in the song. And all that is up here at the 14th fret on the high E, on, on the B string to the 14 on the high E. Then back to the 14 on the B. Then you play 11 on the high E string. And then back to the, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, 13 on the high E string. And then back to the 14. So like this. So just leave that second finger there the whole time. Let them ring as much as they can. Um, you know, just leave the fingers that, you know, like that. So there's another melody in there you'll hear. It's just this. So he just repeats that. Pretty simple stuff. It's just the 11th row on the B, then to 14. Then back to the 11. Now 14, 12, 11. I need you to start over. Can't get much easier than one note stuff. So now let's take a look at this extended. Now they extend that part a little later in the song and just continue it. And it sounds like this. So we're just kind of doing the same pattern over and over again, just changing the notes. So it starts just like that melody we just learned. Now everything is the exact same here on the second time through. But instead of going down to 11 on the high E string, you go to the, um, I'm sorry, 11, 13 on the high E string. You go to the 16th fret. So, so you see the difference. Just instead of this 13, you're going to play the 16. Now back to the uh, version with the 13th fret. All right, and now we're going to do it like this. So that started the same with 14 to 14 to 14, and then we're up to 16, then 13. So look at this. And then back to the, the old standby. So all those together is pretty much just the normal way of playing it, then adding the 16th fret, back to the normal way, and then 16 to 13, and then just keep repeating that. Now at the very end of the song, we have um, kind of way up the fretboard, so I'm going to play it on acoustic anyway, even though it would be more uncomfortable on acoustic, obviously. Um, still got the delayed sound, but let me play this part that ends the song. Here we go. So we're way up here at the 16th fret and to the 19th fret, uh, 16th fret on the D, 19 on the B, to 15 on the G. All right, so the first inning of this is just going to be then 18 to 16 on the G. Next time through, starts the same way. First three notes are the same. Now you're going to play that eighth, 18th fret on the G, slide down, and slide 13 to 15 on the G. All right, now the third time through is the same as the first. 
And the fourth time through is just has a different ending as well. So it's the same first three notes. This one is, this ending is 16 and you're gonna pick, I mean, sorry, 18, then you're gonna pick 16 and slide it down to 15. So all four times and then it just repeats. So here's all four times together slowly. repeat all of that till you know the end of the song sounds a lot better with the you know electric and uh, some nice effects on it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it it's a really cool song um and if you want to hear many more check out the website there's hundreds and hundreds of them i'll see you there bye bye